All right, everybody, welcome to a Song Mike's Gaming Chair Review. This is gonna be an unboxing and a breakdown and a full review of this chair. I've got to spend a little over a month with it to test it out to make sure the durability and things of that nature, everything is on point. So I'm glad to say that I've put this chair through a lot behind me, as you can see, Song Mike's Gaming Chair. We're gonna get into the full breakdown, but first I'm gonna unbox, I'll let you know what was inside of the box, what to expect, things of that nature. And then we're going to get into a full review and I'm going to switch over to a commentary to do the review breakdown portion of it. And I'm going to show the unboxing and everything. Like I said, if you like what you hear and you like what you see, the description will have the link to Amazon where you can actually buy the chair for yourself. So do please hear out what I have to say and let's get straight into it. Let's switch over to the unboxing. Okay, so I've been gaming in standard staples type chairs, office chairs, executive chairs. Now, you can't be a cool gamer without a gaming chair. Let's just keep it honest and let's just keep it real. So, here we go. So this will be a Song Mike's black and white gaming chip. Now, the first thing I wanna tell you about the packaging is it did come FedEx. There have been a lot of stories that these chips have been being shipped and damaged. And honestly, I've been hearing it's UPS. Sorry UPS, but this is what I've been hearing. So, shout out to Song Mike's for having enough sense to use FedEx instead of UPS because I've been hearing a lot of nightmare stories. Now. The condition of the box, as you can see right here, this is pretty much how the box looks all around. Okay? Now, this box is huge, just to let you know. It is very huge. Uh, it weighs about 55 pounds, at least that's what the packaging says. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. As you can see, let's open it up and see what we got. Okay? Let's see how they package this. Now, of course, I will be speeding up the um, unboxing and assembly because nobody really wants to see me sit there and do that. As entertaining as I may be, I don't think I'm that entertaining. And let me be careful as to not damage anything in the box, okay? So, I can see some interesting stuff in here. Okay. So, The way everything starts falling out as it should because gravity is gravity and this is what we have in there so let's get to it okay so this is what's inside of the box you have the stand so let's find out if this is a plastic or metal stand it has a lot of weight to it so support is definitely there let's cut it open Yep, so it is a metal stand, guys, which is the kind you want. Some of these have actual plastic stands. Avoid plastic stands at all costs, of course, if you want some good support. Don't worry, that was supposed to happen because of what I did. And let's clap that back on. That was what that was. Let's clap it back on. So that's the base of the chair. Okay. Let's keep going and see what else we got. Okay, I recognize what this is. We all know what this is, right? We all know what this is. You gotta know what this is. Let me turn the lights so we can see this better. All right, so this is metal as well. And of course, we know what this is. This is the lift mechanism for the hydraulic pump, okay? So let's put that to the side. And let's get to the nitty gritty, which I really wanna see. The chair itself, as you can see, looking real good. Looking real good over here. Looking real good, eh? It's looking real good, eh, mate? Alright, mate. Let's pull it out. Okay. This does feel exactly like a car seat. A real car seat, guys. Not a cheap car seat. 
Not an imitation car seat. This feels like a real car seat, my people. All right, my people. It feels like a real car seat, ain't Mike? So as you can see, I'm letting you guys see what it's looking like. The song mic's on the top, of course. You gotta get that promo going. Yeah, it definitely feels sturdy. We don't have to worry about that part, unlike the chair I'm currently sitting in, which feels like I'm gonna die and sink into the ground. All right, so there we go, that's the back. All right, here we go, let's get ergonomic. As you can see, that is the ergonomic padding. So this is the lower lumbar. Feels definitely soft. Feels therapeutic. And like when you go to a therapy session, if you've been in a car accident or something like that, you know what I mean. So yeah, this does feel comfy. Definitely feels comfy. Let's put that to the side for now though. Um, let's continue. All right, we're gonna have to get my vampire knife. This is where the goodies is at, I could tell. Woo, let's be careful how we open. Okay. So as I was thinking, what are these? What are those? Okay, I think I know what these are. These gotta be for the side of the chair. These gotta be for the side of the chair. Let me put those to the side. And these are the handles, which definitely off top, I can tell y'all feel extremely sturdy. I've been hearing a lot of bad things about game chairs having cheap handles. Alright, so let me cut this open. And good thing y'all can't see me right now, I'm sweating so bad. Alright, so this handle feels 100% sturdy. Doesn't feel cheap. Doesn't feel like it's going to break. It's a huge handle. Definitely going to be huge enough to support my arm. As y'all can see, and I got big arms. And my arm completely is comfortable right there. Okay, I can't wait to put this together and see how it feels. All right, so just for the record, you guys, this handle does go up and down and what y'all want to know, is it, gonna, is it gonna turn? Yes, it turns. Okay, so that's very important with gaming chairs. Some handles feel flimsy and don't turn. That is not the case right now, that is not happening. This is definitely feeling like some top quality stuff right now, okay? It's not feeling cheap or anything like that. Definitely secure wrapping. They're making sure they wrap this thing good so your chair is not damaged. So shout out to Song Mics for making sure you don't get no scratches or anything on your chair. Quality feels extremely durable. Uh, nothing like the chair I'm in right now. The handles felt nothing like this. And I'm sitting in a $100 chair by the way, mine. Okay, so this gotta be the hydraulic pump on the center and the other parts that I'm gonna need, like the wheels. And booyah, there go your wheels. They're all black. I'm okay with that. I don't need anything fancy going on with my wheels. Uh, and there go the hydraulic pump, which actually looks a lot smaller than I thought it would be, um, surprisingly. So this goes the hydraulic pump. And I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start uh, putting this together now, guys. All right. And pull it up to the side. So, I'm gonna start putting the chair together, and then we'll be back. I'm not gonna um, show me actually assembling it, but I'll be back with my thoughts on the assimilation and how the chair feels. Okay? We'll be back. Okay, so it's a month later and we're here. 
I've been hearing nightmare stories about assembling gaming chairs and things about screws and bolts. Well, this was pretty simple. If you're used to assembling office chairs of any kind, it's pretty similar to that. There's uh, some cosmetic add-ons that go into the chair. That's a little bit different, but all in all, no nightmare story. I assembled it within 35 minutes tops. It was ready, good to go. Uh, the assembly is quite simple. I didn't show that process because it was really it was really the same. I recorded it and I felt like it was no need to actually show me assembling the chair. I figured I'd skip that, let you know what was in the box and show you me sitting in the chairs you see it behind me in the background. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, the material, the quality, and the comfort. Those are the main things you're gonna wanna know about a gaming chair. The quality is very impressive because for this price, you get chairs that are not as uh, quality oriented. And what do I mean by that? I mean plastic or metal. You would prefer a metal chair depending on what size you are, how big you are, you know, or how durable you want a chair to be as far as tearing it up, what you're going to put it through, what's going to happen. And with this chair, it was all metal. Uh, I've been looking at chairs within the price range and some of those chairs, actually a good majority of them are plastic. The base of this chair is metal, like I said in the unboxing, the wheels are metal and plastic. As you can see, I'm turning around in the chair now. You're not hearing anything unless you hear me hitting the table. You don't hear anything because uh people were complaining when i was in a gaming chair because of the type the type of content i create that when i was doing audio or streaming or podcasting that they could actually hear the chair creaking now i kept switching from different uh office chairs but that consisted and people were still complaining i haven't heard any complaints over the last month because people don't know i'm in a gaming chair so with that being said if you're somebody who streams podcasts or does any kind of audio work or anything involving audio you won't have any noise coming from the chip now as far as comfort is concerned you do have the pillows you have the one pillow at the top of the neck which i'm six four as you can see when i lean back i'm leaning right on the pillow so it meets my neck perfectly i don't have to adjust it in any kind of way and there's the lower arm bar pillow and i'm gonna let you guys know they were uncomfortable in the very very beginning day but by the second or third day everything was fine i was used to it and it was very comfortable now as far as comfort is concerned just to let you guys know when i was in my other chairs i was gaming or streaming or working on my computer for about roughly two hours and then i would be tired because when i come in from work i'm a little tired as it is chair was not comfortable so what was happening for me was i was actually sitting in my chair for two hours and getting very fatigued and i didn't even realize that it was because of the type of chairs i was sitting in and i thought that was normal um i started looking at uh videos and honestly somebody came to visit me and they told me she said how do you sit in that chair it's so uncomfortable and i never thought about it but sometimes you know when people point things out to you that's when you become aware of it and i started looking at videos of people in hot 97 in particular and i said man those people do radio why do they have gaming chairs i started to really realize that i thought this was like cliche and so i said our gaming chairs are just for people who want to pretend to be gamers or something like that no if you're not a gamer if you work at a computer desk you want a gaming chair and the reason for that is because it increases your productivity now i'm not just of course saying this just because or just because of this chair in particular it's because you really should get a gaming chair now the reason you should get this chair i'm going to get into now but uh i noticed with this chair i've been able to do the two hour podcast maybe game for two hours work on the computer for another two hours so i've literally tripled my productivity since i switched from an office chair to a gaming chair so that's not a gimmick these things are real i actually was ignorant and thought these were just like some kind of gimmick or something that was cliche and people were doing it just to be cool so uh with that being said i'm proud to say that that's actually not the case and i have been enlightened so let's get into why i got this chair in particular okay i've contacted about 22 companies in regards to their gaming chips and out of 22 companies maybe a handful got in touch with me and this is just regular customer service that i'm talking about this wasn't to ask for a review this wasn't for any of that just regular customer service stuff and out of those handful that got in touch with me some of them were telling me to hit them up on twitter and i'm like that's very unprofessional but okay cool but the reason i picked song mics over those other companies was not because it was the best chair but it was because it was the best of what i was looking for I was looking for a chair that if it shipped to me wrong, I could get in touch with them right away and get that rectified. I was looking for a company that if something was wrong with the chair, they would get in touch with me right away. And I was also looking for a company that wasn't going to sell me a crappy chair. So when it came down to it, all three, all three things were handled per perfectly. When I got the package, as you can see in unboxing, nothing was wrong with it. When I opened the chair, it was a new chair, just like I asked for. 
and when I assembled the chair, everything was perfectly fine and the customer service is what made me get the chair. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know now that yes, one other company was just as good as this customer service was. Actually, genuinely probably had the same chair, but there was a catch. The catch was that chair was $100 more than this chair and it was the same chair. So it was common sense for me to go with Song Mike's gaming chair at that point. So that's why I ended up with this chair in particular. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the measurements of the chair, I'm going to get into it at, towards the end of the video so you can hear for yourself what's going on. But as far as I'm concerned, I want to let you guys know out there. I'm 6'4". I'm a big guy, as you can see, because the chair, most people sit in these chairs, they're under the chair. As you can see, I'm almost towering over my chair, but it meets the back of my head perfectly. Don't, don't get me wrong. When I lean back, it's perfect. Just right if you're 6'4". If you're about 6'6", you're still kind of okay, but once you hit that 6'6 mark, that's when you start getting in trouble with this chair, okay? So just to let you know. So let's get into the weight requirement. The weight requirement for this chair is about 330 pounds. Now, this chair can definitely hold that much weight, but there is a warning I have to give you if you weigh that much. If you are a person with a heavy bottom, thick thighs, big legs, don't worry, guys. Don't feel ashamed. I'm talking about a girl, guy, whatever the situation. If you are one of those people and you sit in this chair, you're going to get pain on the side. Now, I let three different people sit in it, and when three different people sat in it, two people were fine, the third person wasn't. The reason the third person wasn't okay in the chair is because the third person had big thighs, and I knew that. So I said I wanted to see what was going to be the real complaint, because like I said, I had the chair for a whole month trying it out. So, just like I assumed, the person will have that issue. Now, what I did to rectify that, if you're a person who wants to really get a chair, or you want to put more production into your work, you just want to be able to work better, you still need a chair. If you don't want to go spend like a fortune on a bigger chair, because they have bigger ones, and you want to get a chair that's a good price and everything, you can still get the chair, but I'm telling you what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to get a pillow and put it under your, you're going to put it over your seat. The reason you're going to do that is because all these gaming chairs have like these wings on the end that make a U and it sticks up like that. So if you sit in it, if your thighs are not going to fit into that cup, because it's a bucket seat, just like a sports car. If your thighs are not going to fit in that bucket, it's going to feel really uncomfortable, whatever's lapping over. So if you have that problem, you're going to be very uncomfortable in this chair. So what you need to do is go to the end of the video and check the measurements. And if the measurements are good, then you can get the chair or you can do something else, which I advise is you go to the store and sit in them and see. Because there's people that say gaming chair is uncomfortable and that's the reason. But if you go get a pillow, if you're in like a, a computer store somewhere where they have them and put it on top and try that, that might work for you. So you may actually be able to rectify that with a simple solution as inexpensive as just a little $5, $10 pillow and boom, you're back in business. Okay, so just keep in mind if you're over 300 pounds, you will have a problem with being comfortable in one of those chairs. And there's 90% of the chairs on the market are like that. A lot of people don't tell you that, they just tell you that they're uncomfortable, they don't tell you what's going on exactly. So I'm gonna tell you that right now. So this chair will hold your weight, but if you weigh over 300 pounds, you will have that problem and that may be the way you have to rectify it, but you can also get a bigger chair. There's companies that have those as well, but like I said, they're literally more than double the amount of money this chair is. So that's why I'm recommending this one to you. So as far as the material is concerned, the base is metal, the chair has uh, wheels that are plastic and metal. It rolls, it turns fine. The chair reclines all the way back. People who like to go all the way back in the chair, I'm not gonna do it in the video, but it does go all the way back. I tried it, it's perfectly fine. Like I said, I had the chair a month. Uh, some people were telling me that when they lean back in the chair, as you can see, I'm leaning back in the chair now. The chair started to uh, walk, started to tilt. Start, some people's chairs broke. And if you want to read any of these uh, claims that I'm making, you can go to Amazon. You can go to the link in the description and just look at like the reviews for the gaming chairs and you will see that I'm not making that up. So with that being said, uh, the link for this chair will be in the description if you want to buy it or if you want to purchase it and check it out. Uh, I really recommend that you get this chair for the reason that I said earlier. The customer service is something you want to check for. If you decide for some reason to try and go with another chair, before you buy the chair, check the customer service. I promise you it will not be as good as this company, Song Mike's. I checked 22 different gaming manufacturers for chairs and the service was bad in 90% of these chairs. So just be careful, just go read the reviews for yourself if you don't wanna to listen to this video. I'm not being paid to say this or anything like that, I'm just putting y'all on. If you don't wanna believe me, go for yourself on Amazon and read the customer reviews and you will see, um, you will be amazed 
and how many nightmare stories they're all on things that I'm warning you about. I've checked everything that I possibly could with this company, with this chair, just to make sure everything was good. Even they asked me what I thought of the chair. So here's my review. I'm letting you guys know that uh, quality wise, the chair is top notch. The armrests, they're pretty good. They're metal all the way up until where you put your arm on it. It's rubber and plastic. A lot of these chairs have armrests. If you're tall like me, 6'4", when you lean back in the chair like this, you're not going to really be doing this too much. So you don't need the armrest. However, when you sit forward, you'll be like this. The chair supports you no matter which position you decide to sit in. If you want to sit forward and still have the um, pillows on you, you can just pull the chair. The base is metal. The whole chair itself is metal. The material is not leather, but it's close to leather. Now, the reason I don't think that they make most of these chairs in actual leather is simple. Where I'm at right now, it's getting cold and it was hot. So when it was hot when I got the chair, it was actually uh, good to sit in. It wasn't sweaty or anything like that. It wasn't making me perspire. But then when it got cold, the chair wasn't too cold. So when you put the two together, you'll see why they kind of went with that and they didn't make it that way. So with that being said, overall, I would have to recommend that you get a, a gaming chair from Song Mike's. Particularly, I got the black and white one. Like I said, the link to this chair will be in the description if you want it. If you are a tall guy, you are safe. If you're on the heavy side, you are safe, depending on, of course, your weight. If you're in the 300 to mid 300 range, you have to be a little bit careful. That's when you need to check the measurements and just to make sure that, you know, if you're heavy on the bottom, you can still get away with the chair. But like I said, if you have big thighs, then you're not going to like the comfort of the chair. Most chairs, you're just not gonna like them. It's like it's like sitting in a Lamborghini if you're a big guy, you're not gonna feel comfortable. But you can put a pillow on top of the chair and it will help for some of you, depending on how you know wide you are on your bottom. So with that being said, check the measurements out and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna do the outro and overall thoughts. Okay, so let's get into specific uh, measurements for the chair for those of you that actually need to know if the chair is the right size for you, okay? So the height of the chair is gonna be 124 to 132 centimeters. The height of the seat is gonna be 43 to 51 centimeters. The diameter of the five star base will be 70 centimeters. The diameter of the caster is 60 centimeters. The size of the seat cushion is 53 by 52 centimeters, width and diameter. Uh, size of the backrest is 85 by by 54 centimeters that's the width and height gross weight is 25.4 kilograms which is totaling in american 55 pounds material is a pu cover cold foam padding steel five star bait the color of the chair of course is black and white okay so that's pretty much what you get and what is including the side the packages the racing chair itself the headrest weight support instructions and installation tools which is allen keys bolts and screws all right, so that was the measurements of the chair. This is gonna be my final thought. Productivity is important. If you wanna be more productive, then you should probably be considering getting a gaming chair. The reason for that is simple, like I said, I was able to increase my time. I didn't realize this until I looked one day and I felt like it was my two hour mark. And I said, all right, let me get up and get up out of the chair. I leaned back in the chair and I felt like I wanted to go to sleep. I took a few minutes and I was right back to it. I was doing what I needed to do. I was able to get three things done instead of one like I normally would. And that's the reason that I'm doing this review and recommending this to you. If you're somebody who works on a computer or you're at a desk or anything like that for a long period of time, this will make it a lot more comfortable and a lot easier to do what you have to do. So with that being said, I would have to recommend this shit to you 100%. This is J Mega Games. If you have not subscribed, I'm wondering why you didn't hit the subscription button. If you did, hit the notification bell next to that. If you did that, you might as well hit the like button as well. Because you're hitting all these buttons. Why not? Anyway, if you have any questions or concerns, ask me in the comment section. I'll get back to you. If not, have a good day, night, or evening, depending on the time of the day that you watch this. I'm out of here. Peace.